This video is going to look at a pretty cool reaction, and it's oxidizing ammonia with hot chromium oxide. The chromium oxide is chromium-3 oxide. The chromium is in a plus-3 configuration of oxidation, and the oxygen is in a plus-2 configuration of oxygen. Therefore, we have a balance of electrical charges here, and we're going to get this chromium oxide from burning ammonia dichromate. And since I've already done this in a previous video, you can go see that video as far as what it looks like and what happens when you burn ammonia dichromate. For a quick review, this is ammonia dichromate. You heat it, it actually lights on fire, and from that you get chromium oxide, nitrogen, and water, and the chromium oxide, which is a solid, is what we're talking about right here. The melting point of chromium oxide is 4,415 degrees Fahrenheit, or 2,435 degrees Celsius, and the boiling point is 7,230 degrees Fahrenheit, or 4,000 degrees Celsius. This is pretty tough stuff, so in this reaction, it's going to act as a catalyst, and nothing really happens to it. As a catalyst, chromium oxide will react when it's hot with ammonia, with heat there, and you end up with chromium oxide again, of course, and then nitric oxide and water. So this reaction is also of interest because of how it looks as it proceeds. For our materials, we need the chromium-3 oxide, which we're going to get from this ammonia dichromate again and burning it. So look to a previous video if you want to see that. Uh, we need some strong ammonia, 10% or more. We need a large glass container. I'm going to use a round bottom flask. We need some airflow. We need a source of heat to heat the chromium oxide here. And we need a small metal cup to put the chromium oxide in. The reaction itself is pretty simple. The setup is not necessarily. The idea here is to heat the chromium oxide in a small metal cup while it's in an environment of ammonia gas, and that usually comes by heating the ammonia with an airflow coming by that can blow this chromium oxide, which is hot, into the ammonia environment, and therefore we get the reaction to occur. I have a setup that I think will work for all of this, and I think it will be successful, so let's get to it. This is the chromium oxide we'll be using in this experiment. It's extremely light, obviously green colored, and um, I got it, as anybody will, when you burn ammonia dichromate. This was a whole Crossman CO2 cartridge here. The bottom was cut off there. Of course, it was empty when I did that. And a uh, hole was drilled on the side here and a wire put through there, wrapped a ton of times, and a handle there so I can hold this at a distance when it's heated. So I took just a regular stopper and I put a sports needle through there, which will go in here. The air pump will get connected right here. So the airflow will be going through this and coming out the top. Of course, there will be ammonia at the bottom here, which will be heated. So the whole chamber in there will be filled with ammonia gas. And then the small cup here that I made will go through the top here. It's nighttime and I'm ready to do this. Uh, I'll lay it out. Here's my power source that's going to provide the 12 volts needed for the air generation, which is going to pump through that. There's a needle that goes through there. This is ammonia down here, liquid. And when that's heated up, that'll turn into a gas. Of course, I'll remove the top. Once that's flowing well, I'm going to take this small scooper, put the chromium oxide in it, and then heat it up and put it in there. All right, we're ready to go here. I pre-filled this little cup I made with chromium oxide. I'm gonna place it over the flame. Get it really hot. With everything still running, I refilled the small metal cup with the chromium-3 oxide. I'm going to heat it 